All right, and today I have this uh, Vivor, V-E-V-O-R, 1000 watt grid tie inverter. DC input, 22 to 50 volts DC. AC output, 115 volts, 90 to 140. All right, so this is what you're looking for right here. DC input, 22 volts. If you have a 12 volt panel, it won't work. So just make sure to get two 12 volt panels, put them together, and that will put you into the 24 volt range and you will be good to go. Has three fuses on the back. They are screwed in, they have little screws on the sides. So those are covers. Additional PC plug, computer plug, on off switch, small fan. This thing is actually smaller than what I was thinking. So here's my hand. Here's the inverter. See? Here's my shoe. It's like a size 10. So the inverter's a size 10 shoe. About how thick it is. That's what it looks like on the back. Let's see. And it weighs exactly 1,996 grams. I've already went and made up the MC4 connectors that I'm going to connect directly to this, and then I'm going to connect this to the solar array. These cables did not come with it. I had to make them myself. But these copper ends came with it and I used a vise to crimp them on to 10 gauge wire. So that's how that's going to sit. Leave the fuses and the fan unobstructed. There's the cable that comes with it. And I do have this power meter, which was, I believe, $10 on Amazon. I do like it. It does light up. It does have a nice LED screen on it. And let's see if this works. So we've got this plugged in and we're gonna go plug this side in. All right, now we're here by the dog door where I have my cables running in. Always good to check polarity, make sure it's set to DC, DC. Oh damn, the sun's going down. Might not be, we might have to do this tomorrow, guys.
Okay, so this is red and this is negative. Red is red, negative is negative. Is a uh, error. Okay, turn it on. Error. Error. Why do we have an error? error. Coming out here. <sighs> Maybe we don't have enough voltage. It said 33, but the sun's kind of going down, so might have to come back and try this tomorrow. Oh wait, no, it has to sense power in here. plug in there. Yeah, yeah. Wall plug. One twenty two sixty. So what we're reading. Yeah. All right. Reading one twenty two sixty on the wall over there. And let's plug this in. Okay, there we go. 122. Still have an error showing up on it. Oh, no, it went green. There we go. Hmm. Up. That's not so up. Does it give us a kilowatt? Function amp point three watts point three. Okay, let's unplug it and see if it did anything. Nothing. Seven watts. Hi. So it goes to red for error, and then it goes back to blinking for green, and then back to red. So I'm guessing since it's the time of day or something, that's why we're not getting the, uh, we're, not, we're not getting what we need to. So we'll come back tomorrow and do this. Okay, it's going red, then it's going back to green and blinking. Turn that off. Yeah. There's a blue light on this power here. And then that. Or, hold on one second. Let me do this. Turn this off. Unplug this. Maybe the meter affects it. And then put that in. And then turn this on. There we go. Blinking green, then going to red. Blinking green, then going to red. All right, we'll try this in the morning or tomorrow and then see what happens when the sun's all the way up. All right, and we are back for day two of this 
Uh, Beaver, 1000 watt grid time inverter. As you can see, the light is green. I went ahead and looked at the instructions. <clears throat> so when it's blinking, it means that it's tracking the maximum power point because it does have an MPPT charge controller in here. And then it <clears throat> just takes that, sends it into the inverter to AC. So DC to AC, AC back into the wall. And it is working. So it's saying 80, 80, uh, you know, 84, 81.8 watts going in. Kilowatt hours are at 4.57 so far. <clears throat> Voltage is 120.4, 60. And amperage is going in at 0.99. All right, so I'm thinking this is how long I've had it on for is five hours and 44 minutes, possibly. I have to go through the instructions for this little box to figure that out. I'm guessing this was the high for today was 221.4 watts going in from the box from our solar panel array. And remember, we do have three 12 volt 100 in series and then connected to a 250 watt panel, uh, 36. <clears throat> so three 12s equals 36 volts in series and then connected to one other panel of 250 volts or 250 watts excuse me that's also rated at 36 volts <clears throat> so match the voltages and you should be fine and once again the light is green solid green the blue light right here there is a thing it does say ac grid so once this isn't sensing grid power it will automatically shut off Alright, well, that's it. Peace.